Welcome to the King and Candy Morning Show. Your one-stop shop for all high-class bullshit of the day. What's going on, everybody? We are back, 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 back. We're like the return of the Jedi. Psych. The return of... Psych? I'm not sure. But hey, we're going to step into the words of wisdom for today. Hopefully everybody's doing good. My name is King, and this is my host, Candy. Hey guys, good morning. Hopefully everybody's doing well. So, yo, here's the words of wisdom for the day. It's from your man, Albert Einstein. Life is like a riding a bicycle to keep your balance, you must keep moving. That's right. Thank you, Albert Einstein. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Man, we're about to just jump right into it. Hopefully, everybody's well this morning. We're going to jump right into all of our stories for today. Tell us, Candy, what's going on? Well, this is kind of a bittersweet story. Um, apparently... There are still some really superstitious people out there. Um, there are children, albino children, being attacked in Tanzania for their body parts. Um, apparently, there are certain parts of East Africa where their uh, albino body parts are still being considered as magic. Um, their hands especially are being considered as um, talismans for witch doctors. So... They're being sold on the black market for witchcraft. So um, they think that albinos are ghosts that bring bad luck. And there has been four children brought to Philadelphia for hand or arm transplants to kind of try to reverse the damage that was done to them and the trauma that was done to them in Tanzania. Um, it is a kid. It's the kid's second visit to the U.S. thanks to New York-based Global Medical Relief Fund, whose motto is "One Child at a Time." I think it's really cool that they had to um, go through such a traumatic experience and then to be brought here to help them kind of recover and be made whole again. I think that's a great ending to a pretty terrible story, don't you think? <laughs> You're right. To be made whole again. These always ain't got no arms. They ain't got no legs. They ain't got no fingers. I wonder how it is for them to wipe their ass after they use the bathroom, Candy. What do you think? Did you really just say that? Listen, Candy, this is a shame. We bring in, we got all these problems here in America, and we bring in from other countries to come over here and act as if we are this whole big humanitarian uh, place, and, and that we watching after the old poor albino Africans <laughs> with no legs, with no fingers, can't even wipe their own ass. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. So I I agree that maybe America as a whole may not care about albino children in Africa that have been maimed, but apparently this nonprofit organization does. They've paid for their airplane tickets. They've paid for their hotels. Their medical care is being done pro bono by physicians who are um, giving them prosthetics that are actually um, powered with wires. So it's not just like a cosmetic thing, their hand, their prosthetic hand can actually grab things and work as a regular hand does. There's a really big movement. There's been a really big movement for decades, if not hundreds of years, where albino children have actually had to be put in shelters and homes. I saw a documentary about this a long time ago because there are henchmen out because witch doctors and voodoo doctors pay thousands of dollars, which to them is a lot of money. For them to get the specifically, I think, I don't remember if it was the right hand or the left hand, but a specific hand of an albino child, it's considered an extremely powerful talisman. So, I mean, these kids have been hunted down their whole life like animals. Some of them have been able to escape being maimed. These four children were not so lucky. And, um, I mean, again, apparently someone cares enough about them. Thank God for that. Man, come on, Candy. This, this... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Candy, let, 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 let's, let's bring it home. Let's bring it home, darling, because there's enough 
nonprofit work to do here in Los Angeles on Skid Row. That shit looks like Zombie Row, not just Skid Row. And let's see if you've ever been down to downtown LA. I I, I really urge everyone to go to see the monstrosities of what's going on out there. But man, come on. If let, let let's be real, these are th- this is somebody else's agenda to go into Africa. And, you know, and to take all the resources, this is still don't it, like what is this leading to candy? Like going over to Africa to deal with some albinos It's albinos here in America. <laughs> this shit the need help, man. The need like some sunscreen, the need affirmative action, because again, they still niggas just because they ain't got no uh, pigment candy. Come on, are you serious? Let let's let let's be real out there. Let's be let's be a hundred percent real, Candy. Once again, King, you leave me at a complete loss for words. After your after your amazing rant. I, I get it though. Of course, there's people here that need help. Absolutely. There's people everywhere that need help. But I just think that these children specifically, even by their own parents, are sometimes considered a curse or bad luck or a ghost. Like, imagine, that's, I mean, I'm not saying the people here don't have, some people in America don't have a hard life too, but those kids, I mean, they, they have it, they've had it bad their whole life. I'm glad something, whatever the ulterior motives may be, I'm glad those four kids have their, an arm back now, you know? Yeah, so they, so, so, so they can wipe their ass. So we're about to close up the King and Candy Morning Show for the day. Hopefully everyone is doing well. And you go out there and make that money. You go out there and do your job. Don't stop. You do your job. And you get home and hopefully you're able to eat and talk and have drinking all night. Wow. Peace. (laughs) Thanks for listening, guys. Have a good one.